We're here in the Houses of Parliament today as Ford hosts a cross-party talk on women in engineering and participation in STEM subjects. Bob Samadich, Ford of Europe's Chief Operating Officer, outlined how the engineering industry can entice more women into the sector. If you look at law, if you look at medicine, you see a proportion of about 50-50 equally men and women entering into those fields. In engineering, here in the UK in particular, the rate of, engineer, of women engineers is extremely low. It's around 5%. And what were some of the main solutions or proposals that came up in the talks today? Well, first we have to step back and look at what are some of the reasons. And there's a lot of reasons for women being um, underrepresented in a great field like engineering. First of all, there's women sticking with the, um, the, STEM, uh, the STEM academics, the science, technology, engineering, and math. And when they're going through school, you know, about 12 or 13 years old, girls start to get steered away from those subjects, even though they may have, you know, just wonderful talent in it and they may embrace those subjects. So they, at that point in time, if they get steered away from them, it's very difficult for them to continue on to higher level education and get the engineering background and the educational background they need to become an engineer. So solutions have to involve the schools encouraging and driving women to continue with the STEM subjects and continue in those types of fields. And then industry has to really, we call it a communication plan, where engineering probably doesn't have the same kind of um, perception that perhaps law and medicine does. You can just watch TV one night and see what, you know, all the, the legal shows that are on TV, look at all the doctor shows that are on TV and see the glamorous life those people lead. But think about the engineering shows that are on TV and you probably have a hard time coming up with the, an equivalent that young girls could sit around and say, I could see myself doing that, I can envision myself mm -hmm. doing that. So that communication message is also very, very important because there has to be role models, there has to be mentors for girls to vision themselves being in that field. Getting on to STEM subjects, I know that you talked about participation, hoping to grow participation. Uh, what specifically can the manufacturing sector do to help out in that area? Well, one of the things the manufacturing sector can do is to provide those role models of when you do continue in the STEM subjects and you do focus yourself on engineering or science and technology as your educational background, the um, industries can really let people, let the young people know what kind of jobs are out there for them. So at the end of the day, engineering represents a well-paid, very, very, um, you know, highly respected in, uh, field for people to go into. And I think as students go to university and they're looking at subjects they want to study, of course, it's important what they're interested in, what they love to do. But it's equally important that they're going to be able to get a good job when, they're, when they get out, that they'll be able to support their family. They'll be able to know there's going to be work out there for them. And I think that industry has the opportunity to make that message very, very clear to potential um, new hires. And getting on to university, I noticed speaking to a lot of young people, some of them have been poached by... Um, investment banks and other financial firms because hmm. of the large amount of money on offer, for instance, through internships and jobs. Do you think that's a problem and do you think the manufacturing sector would be able to overcome that? I do think since the financial crisis of a few years ago, that has probably um, waned a little bit because of the, it became a little less attractive to put yourself into that kind of a field. But again, when it comes to the math and science, a lot of students that enter it have a genuine love for math and science and you know, physics and the art of the possible of making things and developing and, and developing things. And I think that's very hard to do in the financial sector. That's, to me, that's a different type of skill set and a different type of desire and want from a student than the engineering skill sets in the sciences. Ford has announced an extension to its Blue Oval Scholarship Scheme which so far has awarded 100 undergraduates scholarships of £10,000 each, paid over a three-year period. Of the group last year, a quarter were female scholars, and the manufacturer is now supporting a targeted rise in female participation to 50%. In addition, Ford confirmed the funding of a further 10 scholarships a year in the longer term. IB Times UK spoke to Lauren Bradford, a former Ford apprentice and now an engineer for the company, as well as Sophie van der Spa, a current member of the scholarship programme and university student. I joined Ford um, as a um, training apprentice, as a Mechalec. It was a four-year scheme. Um, after completing that, I started my B.Eng in Engineering honours degree. 
um, and graduated from there just two years ago, I think. And that qualification um, gave me the opportunity to apply for the job that I'm doing now, which is supply technical assistance. And so basically I travel around to our European supply base and um, checking the quality of parts and the production times. Being a woman in the engineering sector has never been a negative, um, especially working for Falls, they're a diverse company. Um, they don't promote any kind of negative atmosphere towards us. Um, and if anything, I feel like a special commodity because there's not many of us. I'm currently in my second year of study at Southampton University and they promoted the Blue Oval Scholarship. I think it was advertised in 2011, I applied in 2012. Um, I had to write about a thousand words, um, had to critique two cars. I chose a Ford Focus and an Austin Huey 3000, um, and that, that was basically it. I think it is quite daunting being sort of five girls in a huge lecture theatre full of boys, but just, just own it. You're just as smart, if not smarter, so just be there, you're there. You're there for a reason. So.